All right, YouTube, this is Asatsu5, and this is going to be my forced entry into the Rum Diaries video series. Uh, I am curing my um, uh, oak barrel, my charred oak barrel. This is one needle. And uh, basically what you do is you rinse it out, then you fill it up with hot water. Put, well, you put the spigot and the bung in there. Boy, well, you put the spigot in, fill it up with hot water, put the bung in, and you let it set for an hour or two, and you check to see if there was any leaks, and uh, if there was not any leaks, uh, you can uh, uh, drain it and uh, put whatever you want in it, uh, rum, whiskey, tequila, you know, any kind of spirit in there, brandy, uh, you can even put wine in there, and uh, in, then you can start the aging process. Uh, the reason why I'm put, I'm filling it with hot water and letting it uh, soak is because the wood will soak up the water and swell. And uh, keep in mind that these staves that make up the barrel are not glued together, nailed together, or anything like that. They're being held together by these rings uh, or these hoops. And uh, uh, the water is really just going to seal the seams. It's going to swell the wood to the point where they um, uh, expand to, into each other, and that's what gives it its watertight seal. So, um, I bought me some rum. I bought a little bit more expensive rum than I really planned on it, and I bought me a single malt scotch to age in here as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to age the rum and uh, then uh, uh, after I get finished with that I'm going to try aging a single malt scotch that's 12 years old and I'm going to try to reproduce something that's around 20 to 30 years old uh, which will be interesting. So that's it. I just wanted to show you the first step in the process of um, um, aging your own uh, liquor or spirits is to actually cure all the barrel where it won't leak and uh, that's it hope you have a great day i'm a saucy five uh i might make this one video so i'm not out quite yet hello youtube this is a saucy five and um i am now uh, about to age this this car yeah rum expensive rum uh, lady at Specs sold to me because she thought it was funny that I was going to try to age Bacardi Silver. So I bought this. It's a uh, Cuban rum made in the Dominican Republic. And it's kind of what this company is known for making sipping rums. The rums that you don't really mix that you just either cook with or you just sip. And um, I'm holding the dog so it won't walk but I'm about to put it down. I'm not going to put it down but I'm going to put it down. And um, so basically what we got here, I cured the oak barrel so it shouldn't leak. And uh, I'm going to pour this in there. This holds one needle. And uh, I'm going to um, age it for a week. I'll turn the camera back on uh, after a week has passed. And uh, we'll see what color it is and if it's changed. And uh, then we'll keep it in there for another week. Also want to note I have this spiced rum essence. This is to make it taste like Captain Morgan or whatever. And um, it smells like rum. But I don't think I need this to age it. It should turn uh, brown or rum colored or dark rum colored or golden colored without this. So I'm going to try aging it for a couple of weeks without this. And if nothing happens, which it should happen, then I'll add this. If this does age well, um, without this stuff, I might get some Bacardi ladle and add this to the Bacardi and um, test it out. Now I'm putting the dog down. This is a fairly fancy bottle. It's corked and smells good. It smells very fresh, if that's even a thing. And I'm going to pour it into the barrel.
see. I got that much left in the barrel. I want to leave kind of a shot left in there. Yeah, I'm going to leave that much in there for comparing label. Now, um, I got the bung. I'm going to put the bung in there real nice and tight. And basically what, what I'm going to do is um, I might take this outside for a day uh, or a few days and then bring it back inside. We want a lot of temperature fluctuation. Uh, you know, a lot of heat will force the rum into the pores of the wood and cooling it down will just kind of make it, it's kind of like storing it, which by the way, just do that. But yeah, the heat, the, the cold and the heat is going to make the liquid expand and contrast and that's how we're going to get uh, the aging process started. So I'll see you in a week. Thank you for watching. I'm a Saucy Five. This is the fourth day of the Rum Diaries. I'm out.